I have no clue why architects are still using AutoCAD to do drawings in 2025. Because there's a lot better options, like the one that you're seeing on the screen right now, to be a lot more efficient, draw a lot more aesthetically pleasing drawings, and also collaborate more easily with other architects. I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that in this video. So this is Rayon Design, and inside here, you can see that we can draw amazing 2D floor plans, sections, or even elevations in a web-based application or web-based software, but you also have the ability to download it on your desktop. Now, there are a lot of reasons why this is a lot better and more efficient to use in 2025 than AutoCAD. Now, first of all, you can see that instead of having to draw every single line by itself, you can basically choose the wall tool and draw a wall with dimensions and even use different types of hatches. Now, I already have something drawn in right here. And in this instance, you can see that if I just have a wall here and then just go to blocks and type in window, you can see that I can just select a window. You can see that I can just grab a window and it will automatically be placed inside the wall instead of having to edit every single line just like AutoCAD. Now, this is a lot more self-intuitive. It saves a lot of time when you're drawing. And you can also do the same thing here if you are uh, importing a type of door. So if I grab, for example, uh, let's say if I grab, if I select this door, I can basically put it right there. And then I can drag and move this around depending on the kind of size that I want it to have. Now, the other very cool thing about Rayon is that you can use zones to automatically calculate areas which is not groundbreaking but the groundbreaking part is that you can have all of those input in a schedule where you can show you any information um, as you want so i'm going to show you how to do that right now so if you go here in this um, interior floor plan and if you just click on this zone uh, we have a section called metadata so i can add a property here which would be for example price and we can say that something like this would cost 1200 euros and then we can do the same thing for uh this zone here so this is metadata once again and then we can go to add property and then we can type uh the price for this one as well so let's say 800 uh based on uh what we have used in terms of materials so this is kind of uh just setting up just two floors so for example if you wanted to go ahead and uh, do calculations on how much all of the flooring on all of um, basically on the whole project would be we would add all of these for each of the zones and then we can basically go here at tables and we can add a table and here you can see that there are zones and doors and everything else now we have the option to go to group by name and now we have as you can see different types of zones uh, and in order to add the pricing that we put in uh, the zone, we can just go over here at the plus, we can add the area. So we can add the area as one of the information that is shown for each of the zones here. And then we can also go ahead and add the price. The other thing that we can do is uh, we probably do not need the doors and everything else. We can just go to categories and take off uh, wall or uh, even block and just leave zones. And now, as you can see, it shows us that we have uh, in total of 16 zones and zone nine, which is the one right here, uh, is priced at basically the number that we put in and also the 800 for the other zone. And it shows us the sum total. Once again, if you want to see all of the costs automatically done for your project in just one click, you can go ahead and add all of the information for the whole floor plans. Now, the other very cool thing about Rayon is you can also use it for mood boards where you can automatically import images of inspirations. For example, this bedroom you can automatically import um, materials which would serve as mood board as examples, uh, furniture or even moods in terms of lighting or anything like that, which is super useful when you want to collaborate with other architects. And the other very cool thing about this now, just keep in mind that it is easily accessible through web-based without needing any barrier to entry in terms of any high-end computers or high-end machines. And on top of that, you can use these files and export it within any other kind of format which you will need in architecture. Now, one thing that you will notice immediately as soon as you start using Rayon is that aesthetically is just everything is on point and that is because there is a very easy tool in order to do stylistic matches with the hash tool or even fails. 
So for example, uh, we can see that in this um, elevation, if we just click on this material, we can use a hatch. So it would be something like this. We can use a different pattern. This is a vertical pat uh, pattern. We can also use like a parquet strip, as you can see. We can also change the uh, dimensions of this uh, by basically using the transform tool. We can increase the scale. Let's say we do it twice as big. And then we can also use textures which are actually color textures. So in this instance, we can choose something like a brick, uh, like rustic brick. We can also change the actual scale on this as well. So we can make it twice as large. Um, and as you can see, it immediately stylizes it a lot easier. And all of these are aesthetically pleasing. Now we can also add your own ones here at the image with just one click, you can click on upload and it will be immediately fixed. You can do this for elevations obviously, and then you can also do this for floor plans which uh, helps them make even better in terms of uh, stylistic design. And uh, even here, we can do it in a floor plan. This is a timber floor plan hatch. We can go to edit style and then we can change the fill here. And then we can choose another hatch, for example, the parquet strip. And now we can also transform it in other ways, not only scale, we can rotate it, for example, for 90 degrees. And as you can see, it immediately does that in our floor plans. Um, and it is most of the time automatically fixed for you in a way that it will uh, make your floor plans look better than drawing in any other 2D floor plan software out there. So let's say that you're actually done with everything. You can see that right here we have a few different pages for uh, presentation and uh, maybe you have everything ready for print. So in order to do that, you can basically go here at uh, the pages and then you can click the plus icon and then basically you can change the dimension based on the pages. So if you wanted to only do this um, site plan or site analysis and export only this one, we can change the size of it to match it uh, just like this. And now you can choose the format here. This is A4. Now we can leave it also completely custom um, and then increase it exactly the way that we would want it. For example, uh, just like what we're doing right now. We are only doing an example for this page because it's pretty self-explanatory for all the other ones. And then we can just choose the page you want to print, click here, we can click export and then click on PDF. And uh, it is a lot more self-intuitive than, for example, uh, in ArcCAD where you have to set up all the pages, views, layouts and everything. Here, you just choose the format and then basically select the zone that you want to print out on. Now, once you've done everything, let's say you've done the printed, physical copies, you want to share this uh, digitally as well without having all of the other uh, distracting parts of the UI to a non-architect, you can basically go here and click at present um, and then this would be published. You just click on it and in a few seconds, all of the pages that you've chosen to export, for example, this is the first page, this is the second page, you can see that they are visible, uh, kind of almost like having a flip book on your screen. Now, if you want to evolve and move from the old ways of drawing architecture drawing sections and elevations, go ahead and click the first link in the description right now to try Rayon.